A group of researchers threw a small bag of trash into a volcano in Ethiopia. And what happened okay. next was... Their foreheads got bigger. dumped trash into volcanoes it would burn i'm not sure well i mean with the amount of waste that we produce that would probably cook us but if like one guy ah, did it, I cook. sorry my yeah. scientific take due to the due to the at due the, to the rudimentary size of the spherical holes come in on volcanoes, now. it would cause the magma to go up and erupt in a rate that would be detrimental to the USA population, causing a lot of schmutt and ash to go into the sky, putting us into another dark age. And greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gas. It's gonna throw off. It's gonna throw off the. Weather. When you put lava in trash, yeah, it's really gonna mess up the mass. I okay. Mean, It'll pack everyone up with money. That will really be greenhouse gas. Yes, I mean, I mean, is he talking about greenhouse gas? Huh, huh. Man, man, the world changing. Huh. That joke gonna be fast, cause hmm. when all that fire burns around the world, we gonna really see ash. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, we gonna really see ash. Okay, cause the bodies they gonna catch. Right. I mean. I might buy a crib after it's fucked up. That's really ass cash. I mean, I mean, I mean, shoot. Shoot. I mean, shoot. Shoot. Every single thing gonna be diabolic. Planes flying without warning. Hmm. Niggas gonna be dying to shoot up the block everywhere. It's really gonna be global warming. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. I mean, when I talk Come on. about global Right. Shit ain't safe at all. It's only old money. Niggas don't know what my eyes ate. Hey, you know what I mean? Oh hey! What you talking about? What you talking about? Bro, you need this, Come on, man. Come, Come on, on man. man. Come on, boy. Come on, man. What you niggas talking about? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? The dome, Why don't we just toss all our trash into volcanoes? Oh wait, be sure to check out my channel. Uh, not yo-yo. <laughs> check out Stanley's <laughs> live. Let's get straight into the reaction. <laughs> no, I mean, if you've ever played Minecraft, then oh you- Gosh, SXY Cypher. One time. I'm a you might already be familiar with the concept of dropping stuff you don't need into lava and never having to worry. Stanley, long bars, extended punchline, yo-yo quick fire. I'm not, I'm, not I'm, I'm not mad at that. 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 Again, sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, you've probably already guessed it, but as so often, things are not as simple as they seem on the first glance. Right. Here's the thing: we generate an insane amount of trash every year. Take the United. Yeah, all that in the volcano would be horrible. Yeah. United States, for example, Americans throw away about 239 million tons of garbage annually. So, yeah, finding a way to get rid of all that would be pretty great. And tossing it into a volcano sounds like a solid solution. It sounds like a horrible idea. I don't know why they. Yeah, it be a doesn't good idea. sound like a good idea. To that, me. That's a terrible idea, like right? It feels almost crazy. Bro, what? Yeah. What? It's like a cheat code to solving the trash problem, but it's not as simple as it seems. Not even close. The first issue we'd face is, well, actually finding a volcano that can handle all that garbage. There are only around 1,500 active volcanoes on Earth, and many of them are... Imagine 1,500 volcanoes for all of the trash. Yeah. yeah no, I'm terrible idea. ...are tucked away in remote areas, far from where people actually live. So shoot, getting our... I see, shoot, I've seen some niggas' apartment who got more trash than the volcano can handle. I ain't hey, gonna lie. what? Amount of trash people be producing, bro, I ain't gonna lie. This was never a good idea. Is that straight? No! Bro! Man, your house... Come on, bro. You know your... Come on, bro. Trash to one of those volcanoes would be a logistical nightmare. But let's pretend we get that part sorted. We load up all our trash and head to the nearest volcano. 
What's next? Well, not all volcanoes are created equal. You'd need a very specific kind to even think about this idea. What we're looking for is a shield volcano. These are the ones with those iconic lava lakes and slow, steady eruptions. You ever the problem. Science class? Hmm? No. You never did one of those Mom's where you put the motherfucking me... bacon soda <clears throat> inside the mug? She didn't want me. She didn't want me. She didn't want me making a mess in the crib. Dang, they don't even blow up like that. What science yeah. experience did you do? I did boring ones. I ain't gonna lie. Like the egg, the the egg thing. Oh, you where you straws yeah. on it and drop it. Drop it, and you I have to. Yeah, one. okay, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. No. Did you do like the paper airplane jump with like build yeah, a paper airplane? Yeah, I did that one. Okay, but like, okay. come on, it, it ain't. Like, yeah, no, it it's not. You the volcano, volcano is a stamp. <laughs> it's a stamp. It's a staple. Problem is, shield volcanoes are relatively rare. But for the sake of this thought experiment, let's assume we somehow managed to find ourselves a nice docile shield volcano. You'd think the hardest part is over, right? But nope. If you're one of the brave souls tasked with delivering- Mind you, aren't you- Isn't it like if you're within a certain radius of a volcano, simply breathing in the air would kill you? Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, I think in Avatar The Last Airbender, yeah. correct me if yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah, Roku. Yeah, Roku. 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 That's ball. Roku. That's ball now. Roku. Come on Roku. now. Come on Roku. now. I mean, niggas don't really see me. That volcano really did put Roku on a TV. Nigga. Oh, shoot. I mean, I mean, shoot. shoot. I mean, shoot. shoot. You're talking about Roku. Yeah. With these sticks, I must poke. Huh. Niggas be acting like Stanley. I see you with the hammers. I really want that smoke. Till mm -hmm. I up the gadget and his face, and then he started choking. <laughs> Bring the trash <laughs> to the volcano. Get ready for some serious danger. The environment around the volcano is no joke. Poisonous gases, flying rock. Well, I think he was rapping. Yeah, it did sound like that. The way he said poisonous lie. gases, I thought it was serious going. danger. The environment around the volcano is no joke. Poisonous gases. Flying rocks and boiling hot lava. It's the kind of place you don't want to be hauling a truckload of trash. And when it's time to dump it in, let's just say things get a bit tricky. Back in 2002, a group of researchers threw a small bag of trash into a volcano in Ethiopia. And what happened okay. next was not exactly. Their foreheads got bigger. Yo-Yo doesn't represent my decisions and taste and jokes and everything that he says is not voluntary of what I agree or disagree with. He is his own entity and I, Stanley, uh, stand with Ethiopians. Why are you laughing? <laughs> that shit wouldn't have went over his head if my fault. Yo! <laughs> Tell his song. <laughs> Sala is Somali. Tommy out of G's Ethiopian. Exactly expected. Lava lakes, it turns out, are pretty unstable. When something cold like trash lands in them, it triggers a chain reaction. Pressurized steam builds up, and suddenly you've got an eruption of acidic gases and molten rock. So just Yeah, it's like throwing off the pH balance. Like that whole is just mm. not it's just it's not like yeah, trash in a volcano is mm. terrible. It's actually. like it's like you can't you can't expect to eat junk food the whole week and then when I go to like eat it, have it smell good. That's what I'm saying. Like throw pineapple in there. That's then what I'm maybe saying. the volcano would have reacted Shoot. like that. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? The volcano ain't have pineapple or or water all week. But you know then it's gonna act crazy when I say it smell crazy. And if everyone's throwing their trash inside, you're gonna get burnt. It's gonna it's gonna burn you for sure. Just imagine what might happen if we dumped an entire country's worth of waste. We could end up with a volcano literally spitting trash all over the place. And that's not even the worst of it. Even if we somehow avoid an eruption, we've still got to deal with the fact that not all trash breaks down right, in lava. So Metals and other materials might just sit in the lava, only to be blasted out later on. Plus, let's not forget that burning trash releases a ton of harmful pollutants into the atmosphere. So instead of solving the trash problem, we might just make, make the pollution <clears throat> crisis a whole lot worse. <clears throat> And shipping all this trash to remote volcanoes? Yeah, that's gonna generate a mass- It's gonna cost mad money. ...of carbon footprint. The emissions from hauling trash across countries would pretty much defeat the purpose of trying to reduce waste in the first place. Yeah. So, while tossing trash into volcanoes might sound like a good way to get rid of it all, the reality is much messier. If we're really looking to get rid of waste, maybe we should stick with recycling or exploring better ways to convert waste into usable energy. Or, you know, we could always just shoot it all into space. If you're interested in why that wouldn't be a good idea either, let me know in the comments. Anyways,
Because up until recently, space travel was not guaranteed, and if there was a mishap to happen while that uh, trash was traveling in space, the amount that the trash would cover the land would be so toxic and hard for us to clean up that it would have costed more to clean that up than it would have been to handle it on our own planet. Shit would be bad. Hey, man, that's going to be the reaction. Hope you guys liked it. We'll catch you in the next one. That's going to be from us. Peace.